Are you looking to increase your milk supply or ensure you have a good supply once yeah. baby's here? Well, here's how you do that. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I have now been breastfeeding for almost six years straight. <laughs> That sounds crazy, but that is because I have three kids, five and under. Now I took this photo here when my baby was just about a month old. I had just gotten done feeding him and then I pumped and I was able to pump 19 ounces. <laughs> yes, 19, that is insane, that is so much milk. And this is exactly how I was able to do that. First tip is probably the most important and that is stay hydrated. If you're even slightly dehydrated, you are not gonna be producing a ton of milk, so please drink lots and lots of water. The key here is to get yourself a really good water bottle that you like to drink out of and bring it with you everywhere. I will make sure to leave some of my favorite water bottles in the description below. Second tip I have for you is also super important and that is making sure that you are eating a very well balanced meal. Eating high protein as well as getting a good balance of those healthy fats and complex carbs is absolutely necessary and makes a huge difference when it comes to your milk production. Third recommendation I have for you is oats. Now there is a reason why lactation cookies are always oatmeal cookies and that is because of the oats. Oats are really high in iron. Iron deficiencies have been known to reduce milk supply and so having that extra iron in your system can help a ton. If you don't like oatmeal, that is totally okay. There is like a hundred different ways that you can prepare oats with oatmeal cookies and muffins and pancakes and granolas. There's all sorts of stuff. I will make sure to leave some of my favorite recipes linked in the description below, as well as some uh, like pre-made oat treats uh, in case you don't feel like making them yourself, but you do want to give them a try. I'll link them down there. Now, apart from nutrition and hydration, here are some of the things that you can be doing to increase your milk supply. Make sure that you have a good electric pump and get yourself on a pump schedule uh, in addition to your breastfeeding. So the schedule that I found to be most successful when it comes to increasing my milk supply is making sure that I am pumping immediately after every feeding as well as in between feedings. Your milk supply is very much a demand and supply sort of system. The more that you demand your body to produce, the more that it will. And so that's the idea behind pumping after feedings as well as in between feedings. You wanna make sure that you are fully emptying your breasts so that your body thinks that it needs to make more. Now I know that this sounds like a lot and it is, and it doesn't have to be forever. This is just until you get your body tricked into thinking that it needs to produce a lot more milk. Along those same lines, you wanna get yourself one of these. I don't know if I am pronouncing it correctly, but is a haka or haka. <laughs> um, but what this can do, again, because you are trying to trick your body into thinking that it needs to produce more milk, you attach your baby on one side and then you attach the haka on the other side. And this will not only catch the letdown as your baby is feeding, but also creates just enough suction that it tricks your body into thinking that there might be another baby and they're needing more milk and it will produce more milk and it will help your body keep um, trying to supply on that high demand that you are tricking it into. <laughs> this next tip is kind of ridiculous and don't come for me. I know, easier said than done, but try to get more sleep. <laughs> I know, if someone tries to give me that advice, I'd be like, yeah, right. Um, but really, try to use those times when baby is sleeping to actually get sleep yourself. I know as moms, we want to get stuff done around the house and or just like stare at our baby the whole time that they're sleeping because they're so cute. But the reason why you wanna get more sleep is because you want to lower your cortisol levels. When you are sleep deprived, your hormones and your cortisol, which is your stress hormone, uh, goes through the roof and stress hormone imbalances and high cortisol have been known to cause uh, a significant reduction in your milk supply. Now this next tip is just a little bit easier, I promise, and that is just continue taking your prenatals, getting all of those vitamins in that your body needs, especially uh, in the postpartum period when your hormones are crazy and your body's healing and all of that. Keep taking those prenatals. Uh, there is also something called postnatals that you could switch into if you'd prefer doing that, but get those vitamins in. This next one is some sort of sorcery or 
black magic or I don't know what it is that they use to make that, but mother's milk tea has made a huge difference in my milk supply and it's delicious. Now it shouldn't go without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyways, if you are having uh, supply issues, if you are feeling concerned about it, make sure that you reach out to your healthcare provider, your doctor, or midwife. They can refer you to a breastfeeding specialist or breastfeeding consultant. Uh, they can give you more tips on maybe other supplements that you could be taking, or maybe it's a latching issue. But don't forget, if you are not able to increase your milk supply, it is totally fine, and there is absolutely no shame in uh, supplementing or even switching all together to donor's milk or formula. At the end of the day, what really matters is that your baby is fed and healthy. I really hope that today's tips can help you increase your milk supply. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you want to make sure that you're keeping your baby safe, click on this video here in which I tell you 10 of the most dangerous baby items that you should definitely not be buying for your baby. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and we will see you on the next one. Bye.